Heights, Brian, a southwest Ohio teenager's struggle for acceptance has become a rallying cry for action. Leela Alcorn, a Kings High School student, committed suicide last week after stepping into traffic on I-71. The teenager says she never felt she could live the life she wanted. Birsha Ledme is in the newsroom live with how advocates are hoping to raise awareness. The 17 year old in her suicide note expressed that her parents did not support her. Since then, the teenager's mom has come out to address those claims. We reached out to parents here in the Miami Valley who have dealt with similar situations to hear their stories and how their lives may have changed since their child has come out. The suicide death of Leela Alcorn has spurred conversation across the Buckeye State. Here in the Miami Valley, LGBT groups are hoping to raise awareness for teens like Alcorn who don't feel accepted. Lynn Sellers is a mother of three. Her son came out five years ago, and like any parent, she had a decision to make. And when you first found out that your son was gay, how as a parent did you react to that? Um, it really was something that we had, my husband and I, had suspected for a long time. So was was relief that he felt comfortable enough to, um, to trust us with that about himself. But not every parent does accept their child once they come out, whether as lesbian, bisexual, gay, or transgender. In her final goodbye, Alcorn, who was born a male but identified as a female, noted that, quote, my parents would never come around. In a CNN interview, Alcorn's mom said, quote, we don't support that religiously. We told him that we loved him unconditionally. We loved him no matter what. I loved my son. People need to know that I loved him. He was a good kid, a good boy. Sellers tells me loving your child unconditionally should take precedent. I firmly believe that all, all parents love their children unconditionally. And so what I would say is that if your child says to you, I'm gay or I'm lesbian or I'm transgender, if it's something you're uncomfortable with, remember you love your child unconditionally and make that the forefront of your thought rather than your discomfort. Just, just love them and everything else will come. All throughout next week, several groups plan on holding vigils for Leela Alcorn. Many of those organizers say they hope they can be a refuge for anyone like Leela who believes their last result, resort is ending their life. In the newsroom, Beershall Admay, 2 News, working for you.